Hi everyone and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer and I work with the GSCP in writing support at Pepperdine University. Today we're going to talk about subject and verb agreement with indefinite pronouns. Subject verb agreement means that subjects and verbs agree in number. So singular subjects use singular verbs like the dog chases the cat and plural subjects use plural verbs as in the dogs chase the cat. Sounds easy, right? Well, there are some tricky words called indefinite pronouns that tend to trip people up. Let's take a look at this table. This table, along with these four, are all considered singular. So you can see here, we, this is laid out nicely where we have every, 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 some, 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 and so on. And then one, 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 where, 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 etc. So here's a nice chart in English where there are no irregularities. All of these are singular. Keep in mind that everyone, everybody, and each are the ones that people usually make plural, but they should be singular. Also, here are a few plural indefinite pronouns. You can see from the meaning of these that it refers to more than one. And then finally, we have a few that go either way, singular or plural. As in these examples, all of the coffee is ruined, which is singular because coffee is treated as non-count. And all of the children are in this class. Children is plural, so we would use are. Let's practice. One of the Elvis impersonators is or are missing. Here we would choose the singular because of one. Both of the Elvis impersonators is or are missing. Here we would use the plural because of both. All of the seats was, were occupied. Here again, we'd use the plural because seats is plural. And the last is all of the rattlesnake was or were devoured. Here we'd use the singular because rattlesnake is singular. By the way, I've had rattlesnake in Arizona once. I don't recommend it very chewy. Now it's time for our mini segment called Did You Know? What is the correct spelling in this sentence? I cited the information from the site. Well, the first one, we would use the C as the verb, and the second one, we'd use the S as the noun, as in website. That's all for this week's writing tip of the week. Join me next week as we talk about subject-verb agreement with irregular plural nouns. Please pass along your tips and ideas for me to cover and get in touch for writing support. Until next week, happy writing!